original trilogy fans and for all of those Lego Star Wars co collectors that missed out on getting an X-Wing, this one is for you. Or for me, actually, because it's mine. <laughs> but uh, check this puppy out. We have the glorious X-Wing. This is my first X-Wing that I've purchased or built. And uh, I really didn't have super high expectations as it's a downsized X-Wing. Here's the instruction booklet. Spent sticker sheet. So there's a couple stickers, but actually they're pretty easy to apply. So I hopefully didn't screw them up. I give myself about a B on that. But back to the story. So I am not huge on Star Wars ships. Um, I typically have like a lot of uh, AT, STs and small little... Um, smaller uh, vehicles and I do a lot of buildings and just not a sh lot of ships because looking back over there I don't have a lot of display space although I think on the shelf up there is where I'm gonna probably post this one and create maybe a rebel base or some sort of a hamak who knows but anyways this is my first x-wing and it was a it was an interesting build experience. It's definitely not easy. We'll get into the build itself in a moment. Um, this one is set 75301. Came out just recently in January. And uh, let's jump into these characters. So we've got um, the, the great part that originally attracted me before I really, again, I enjoy this overall. I'm going to give this... Uh, a 9 out of 10. I think it's pretty solid. Well, maybe an 8.5. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, the figures are really fantastic. There we go. There's Luke. Solid part here. Actually, let me set this down here. The solid part here. Let me move some of this out of the way so we can kind of get into the figures. Is... So he's got the down visor there, visor up there. So and it's just again pretty basic printing, standard, standard pilot suit. Uh, he ends up going right in the cockpit. So if you take out his lightsaber there, lift that up, plug him right in there. Bam! Away he goes. Next up, R2-D2. This one is uh, fairly common. It's the most common of the minifigures in here. There we go. I'll get my hand out of there. Here's the back. Um, good news on this one, if you can see, is that the print is very even. So some of my R2-D2s have uh, crooked prints. I should have brought one over to, uh, to compare. But... Um, so this R2D, this exact R2D2 is in like a lot of the most recent sets. So the the J Anakin Starfighter, uh, Obi Wan's Hut, Tantiv, uh, the Cantina, etc. So it's all in there. Um, okay, we got R2D2 in there, and the big complaint is that his his head pops up. There's probably some ways to rebuild that properly. So, um, but again, you know, if I'm if I'm be not being too picky, yeah, he does kind of pop out there a little too far. He would be way exposed. <laughs> um, all right. So next, before we get into the X-wing itself, we've got Princess Leia herself, and she's in uh, dress. So, you know, I'm assuming this would be um, from when she was broken out. Um, although, you know, I don't know if she had a flowing dress like this. I don't know. I'm not sure this is the right figure, but maybe it is. I don't know. Probably have to look at the, uh, you know, the, the detail of the, the scene. It's hard to tell what scene this is actually from, to be honest. Um, but... 
The other interesting thing is that in the instruction sheet, she gets a different blaster. She gets the small one, but in the cover over here, they show her with the silver blaster. So I don't know. Maybe it's just interchangeable. Who knows? Um, and then, um, and, oh, and, and this Princess Leia is only available in the Tantive, this exact figure. So it's fairly unique, so not too common, probably in high demand. But the figure that I am super pumped and excited to get and is really what originally attracted me to this is General Dodonna. And he is definitely unique to this set. And uh, I thought Lego did a fantastic job putting this together. So he looks pretty amazing if I can get it to focus. Oh, boom. There we go. And he's got that kind of professor-like hair. And here he is. He's got more of a serious. And there he's like barking out some commands. Very basic back print. So a lot of great options with this uh, this head, and it's always good to get a hairpiece like this so you can depict all sorts of fun stuff. But General Dodonna is, is amazing. And uh, so getting into the build, let me set these guys aside. Let me give you, if there's anything, here's the, the instructions. Um, Probably the only thing of note in the instruction was just kind of quick went over the wave. Um, so let's get into the ship a little bit. I think what I really like about this X-Wing is the sizing is very good. It feels like the visual is really great. I think for for kids and adults that are kids that are going to play and adults that are going to display this is like a unique blend so a hybrid so it's not perfect from a display standpoint but from a playability it's really solid there's probably only a couple cautionary things that i would have it feels like some of the pieces do kind of fall off but it you know if you do hold it um it's really not too bad um, I did when I was building it because I was I was on a live stream doing this build most of the build I should say that it I did screw up the midsection which then the the wings wouldn't wouldn't move whoops so um, that was a little bit difficult but it's pretty easy to move the wings into attack position there you go so that's how that does and you can just so it's it's nice that it just kind of holds it that way. So if you're just kind of playing around with it, you just go like that. So that that's pretty easy. The thing, the negative parts of this, um, I do like the shaping of the wings and the again the stickers weren't too bad. The engines are really well proportioned. Um, what I don't like, and this is definitely pretty interesting, kind of a a nice. A nice look what I don't like is kind of these engines like right in here kind of sticks out and these do tend to have a tendency to fall off um, the back landing gears as well aren't these are good they stand pretty well but this front landing gear right here falls off pretty easy it's like just kind of pops off so that's kind of a negative um, this is how it looks from the bottom. That's actually, oh, let me, uh, there we go. It's not a bad look from the bottom, actually. You know, a lot of ships are kind of janky looking from the bottom. This one's not bad. Get that nice, nice look from the front. That's pretty solid. You know, they, they maybe they could have done a little bit more here. The only other thing with, like, the nose... Was there some gapping in here? I'd have to look at the and see if that's a thing. You know, in the actual material, if there's like, if the color is like angled, that might be why they did that. 
There are some play features. There's some spring loaded shooters in here. There's two of them there. Uh, so overall, I am really pretty pumped about this set. I mean, I'm going to figure out a way to build a display for it. Um, I'm just really overall pretty, th pretty thrilled to have gotten this for, you know, without breaking the bank. Um, got this one with the Amelia Earhart and Carrot House and the Easter Chick Egg promo. So it was a really good deal overall if I look at that. All sorts of sets for uh, 50 bucks. Plus I just got, I think I got Trouble and Tatooine and, and a couple other really small sets. So it wasn't too bad to get the promos. So overall a great, I thought I got a great value for it. I'm really excited about the, the figures um, to get four pretty unique figures um, I don't have a ton of while I have a lot of Luke Skywalker I don't have a ton of him in that form so it's been awesome definitely interested let me know your comments if you haven't gotten one I think this is a winner this is a really good blend of of play and displayability definitely not a use yes not perfect there's a lot of little minor things that could probably bug some of the serious builders and display folks but you know really if you if you've missed out and you're just getting into collecting this is an awesome one to get i think this is a must get especially with the general in there um you know and for people who are investing this is going to be a good set as well so with that thank you so much for watching and this has been set number 75301, Luke's Skywalker X-Wing Fighter. Thank you so much, and may the Force be with you.